every time I see it, I smile, even though I've seen it so many times, because that is how we first met Father Roderick von Hogan, a Catholic priest, a super Star Wars fan, and thanks to the video of his reaction to the trailer, he was one of the lucky few who saw an early screening of The Force Awakens. Well, you know, we had to meet Father Roderick. So pleased that he can join us this morning from his home in Amersfoort, Netherlands. Father Roderick, good morning to you. Good morning, Canada. A good morning, Canada. I think Canada would say it's nice to meet you, but Canada already knows you because of our news program. We've been showing <laughs> that video uh, so many times, of course, as people have around the world. So clearly you were excited by the trailer. If anyone oh, yeah. was excited to see the movie, it would be you. So without giving any spoilers, did it live up? Was it as exciting as the trailer to you? It went above and beyond any expectation that I had. It was amazing. I was so excited. This is an awesome movie. Okay. It's, it, and you yeah. can tell me that as somebody who's seen it how many times, sir? I've seen it twice now. <laughs> I'm going to see it again today, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, probably for the rest of the month. Are you serious? It's, Every it's, day it's for the rest good. of the month? Okay, well, here's your reviews because you've been taking to social media. You've been tweeting your reviews. Here's your reaction after viewing number one. Let's show that tweet here to our viewers. It says, uh, oh, no, sorry, this is you when you've arrived. Okay, this is you on the red carpet. The force is strong with this one. Okay, now, sorry about this, Father Roderick. want to make sure we get these. Sure. After you saw it the first time, you have uh, feel like 12 again. Yes. There we yeah. are. That's what you said there. Star Wars 7 and I am 12 again. Is that what that's what it made you feel? Tell me more about that. Absolutely. Well, that's that's I think the amazing accomplishment of this movie. It brings back the 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 real Star Wars, the 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 Star Wars that we that my generation remembers from when they were kids. And it does everything right and it's once you see the movie that you realize how much you missed it. That's and so it's got this joyfulness, this this speed, humor, it's got action, but it also has a lot of depth and a lot of layers and moments where you think, well, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I've seen that before. Let's let's rewatch this movie and see if I can figure out what's truly going on. You know what? It sounds like it's the movie that fans would have hoped the Phantom Menace was, but it wasn't. So now we've waited until now it's come out for this one. Let me show your reaction, Father Roderick, when you saw it the second time. As excited as you were the first time, here's the tweet that speaks to your second viewing. You said, it's even more so on my second viewing. You liked it even better on, on screening too. I did. I did. It was the second, or the first time is overwhelming. And I, we're just, we were, the, the entire theater was applauding, cheering, laughing, <laughs> crying. There were moments that I had tears in my eyes. The second time, you, you already kind of know where the story goes. And so you notice so much more about the details and what makes this movie so perfect and, and so incredibly well done. The, the actors, new actors for me, totally brought it home. They are the new stars of Star Wars, and I was blown away by their quality. We're looking at some of them in the trailer here. There's the new uh, Storm, the new hero as we see him. When did you become a Star Wars fan? Gosh, I was, I, I think I was like 10 or 11 years old, and I had seen one other movie in theaters before. It was Jesus Christ Superstar. And okay. that blew me away. I thought it was awesome. And then the next movie was Star Wars, A New Hope. And my next hero next to Jesus became Luke Skywalker. And those two are still my heroes today. Well, it's funny. I was going to ask you that very thing, if this was a separation from the church and religion or for you. I mean, it's a quintessential good versus evil if you find the two are intertwined in, in the Star Wars franchise. They're very, very much related. George Lucas, when he, when he first started Star Wars, wanted to create a new mythology to teach a younger generation about good and evil and about you know, spirituality. And he was afraid that young people don't read the Bible anymore or other holy books. And so, but he was convinced that you need stories to talk with a younger generation about these themes. And that's what Star Wars does so well. So he took all sorts of elements from the Bible, from Buddhism, from all sorts of religious religions and, and, and put them in the story. And I was so happy to see that in this new movie, that's exactly what happens. There are so many religious themes that are right underneath the surface. And that's why they have such a, a broad appeal, because we all kind of can relate to that. We recognize it. You're making a documentary about this, aren't you? I am. Tell me more I, about that. 
What I'm working on is a documentary about this multi-generational phenomenon that is Star Wars. The kids from then are the parents from now. And so are they still using Star Wars to talk with their kids about these big themes, about religion, about sacrifice, about sin and forgiveness and all that stuff that is in Star Wars? How does that work? How does a new generation react to Star Wars? So did George Lucas accomplish his goal? So interesting. This might be a strange question, but it's the Pope's birthday today. You think he would ever see Star Wars? I think he has, at one point, uh, a while ago, has said, I will never watch television anymore right. for his personal reasons. So I'm not sure if he will ever get to see Star Wars, but he's the kind of guy that would love it. Well, that's what I thought. You know, he strikes me as someone who would see the same things as perhaps yours as you're seeing. I mean, he's like a, a Catholic Jedi master, right? <laughs> <laughs> he teaches us, he guides us to open ourselves up for like a divine force, something that gives us strength, that guides us, but he puts it into practice himself as well. Plus, he's got a sense of humor. Well, that's Star Wars in a nutshell. You know what? I thought I could, nothing could possibly top seeing you in your video. I've so enjoyed meeting you in for real, and I know Canada has as well. Father Roderick, what a pleasure. Enjoy. Well, I know what you're doing every day for the rest of the, of the month of December. Oh, yeah. There's Maybe take a, a break for little, Christmas and go back to the other. Christmas, Christmas interruption, <laughs> and then it's right back to Star Wars. Right back. Okay. Thank you so much.